That quote has been wrong my entire life? No, yeah. you edited it! You edited it! No way! <laughs> So Brandon, yes. Do you know what a Mandela effect is? Yeah, it's like a, it's a thing that you think is true but isn't, but other people remember it the same. So before we jump into our game, let me explain this. Okay. Uh, a Mandela effect is when people start to remember an aspect of culture differently than the way that it actually occurred. So common examples of this: uh, Star Wars. People think the line is "Luke, I am your father." It is it not? It's not. What? The line is no. I am your father, because it precedes a question. Yeah, blew your mind, right? <laughs> well, also, okay, so we have another example too before we even jump into the game. So Pikachu's tail, which of these is correct? People often get it wrong. Don't tell me it's the one on the right. It's the left, right? Nope, it's what? the one on the right. <laughs> What? Well, today we're going to be uh, testing your, in general, movies and TV knowledge. Oh, man, it's going to be trash. <laughs> well, we're going to be seeing if you can spot the Mandela effect. Okay. You're a big movie TV guy, though, so you should I am. Be, yeah. this, is my, this is my world. We'll play a clip, and we'll see if you can tell us what aspect of the clip is perceived to be slightly different than the way that people remember it. Okay. I'm excited to see what we have been misinterpreting in pop culture. Um... Let's see, Jesus. Don't see anything different so far. It's a little creepy now that I'm looking back at it. E T home phone. Whoa, what? No way. E T home phone. Oh, is people always mix up saying phone home? Oh my gosh, she's so cute here. E.T. Phone home. It's a cute little self. E.T. Phone home. What has Drew Barrymore been doing lately? So what in that clip could be a Mandela effect? We remembered it as E.T. saying phone home. But E.T. said home phone. E.T. does not say E.T. phone home. He just says E.T. home phone. And then I think just because the kids say it and it's catchier, that's what we all went with. Well, the finger? I don't know. I don't remember it being bedazzled. E.T. says it backwards. And so everybody always says, E.T. phone home, and we do the finger, but that's not actually what he says. Everyone thinks it's E.T. phone home, which I thought, E.T. home phone. Because I was thinking beforehand, E.T. phone home, and it's not that at all. So while E.T. does say it at other points in the film, people often miscredit this moment as the moment in the movie is when he says the iconic line. In this classic scene, E.T. does not say E.T. phone home. You are correct. He instead says... E.T. home e. phone. Home phone. Yeah. What? It didn't even translate in my brain. It's really easy to think that that's what it said because the kids say it twice after and your brain just is going to pick up on what's easier. Yeah, that's easy to get confused because like E.T. home phone is like, all right, this is my landline. Like what Like what are we saying here? Next, we're going to be looking at another movie that's famous for one particular quote. This is Field of Dreams. I've never seen this, but I'm pretty sure I know the quote. I, it's just so popular. I know the quote it's going to be. What's the quote? It's like build it and they will come. It's going to be a Something like that. Okay, let's take a look. This kind of looks like sign. You mean signs? Signs is a fucking signs. Look at that beautiful agriculture. Let's get rid of it and make a baseball field. Yeah. Ain't nobody trying to walk in the corn. If you build it, he will come. He will come. There it is. If you build it, you will come. That quote has been wrong my entire life. The reason why I know that is because my dad constantly tells me that quote. He constantly tells me, build it and they will come. Chelsea, yeah. I hate to break this to you. Your father is a liar. <laughs> I've been lied to my entire life. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever even seen this movie. I felt like it said if you milf. <laughs> It will come. <laughs> no. This iconic baseball movie does not contain the phrase MILF. Uh, <laughs> Are you sure that's not what I heard? 
So similarly, just a word off in this clip. So most people think the iconic line from this uh -huh. movie is, if you build it, they will come. Okay. Not what he says, though. If you build it, he will come. Oh, sh**. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That's like some ASMR sh**. <laughs> Back when Star Wars was good. Is this Empire or Jedi? Neither. It's a new hope. Oh, it's hope? Oh, okay. Okay. I love the aesthetics in the ships. They shut down the main reactor so they destroyed the show. This is madness. All right, well, the one that's bothered me is I do not remember the other CP unit that was walking with them. Because I saw that and I was like, wait, where'd he come from? There were two C-3PO units or two... Protocol droids. Is it the fact that there's two C-3PO's? Because I'm very confused. I don't remember the other C-3PO. It's been a while since I've seen the first one. We're doomed. They're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't. No. Huh. I didn't know there was another Mandela effect for this. Let me ask you this. What color is C-3PO? Gold. Gold? Yeah. Gold? Don't tell me he's silver or something. Well, he's not all gold. He Whoa. does, in fact, have a silver leg. That's weird. Why has no one ever talked about this? Why does 3PO have a silver leg? Oh my gosh. Well, color me impressed. Uh, to be honest, like, I was so focused on just like the character, I did not even look at his legs. I look up at the eyes, man. Always. <laughs> I'm respectful. It's kind of like in the new one where he just had a red arm. And then no one ever explained it. Next, let's take a look at Jaws. <gasps> Ooh, okay, Jaws is actually one of my favorite movies, so I'm excited to see this. Ooh, what is the uh, the major moment in Jaws that you can think of? It's the line, we're gonna need a bigger boat, or we need a bigger boat, and I know it's not said how we think it's said. You heard him, slow ahead. What is there, like, no sharks? <laughs> It just looks like a bad idea. It's chucking out Come on down and chump some of this meat. Uh, dude. Oh, so good. The music, everything about this movie. I remember him saying, we're gonna need a bigger boat. That was an iconic line. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, we say we're gonna need a bigger boat, but he says we need another boat. Yeah, it's you're gonna need a bigger boat. Not we're gonna need a, he's like, this ain't my problem. This is your problem, buddy. You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> he said, you're gonna need a bigger boat. I've always heard the phrases, we're gonna need a bigger boat. That is exactly correct. Let's take another listen. Yo, you're gonna need a bigger boat. That's crazy. I knew it was gonna, I knew it was something about the line. Literally most famous movies in the entire world. We're all misquoting. I've done it before. We all misquote this. I feel like a lot of these come down to like, uh, poor enunciation, poor audio of these films, you know? We hear it as one thing, and the parts that we don't hear, we fill in ourselves. <gasps> I love him. For a neighbor, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day. My mom made me watch as a kid. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful. Like I'll be your neighbor. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? No, no. He's supposed to say wonderful in there. I remember as a kid him saying, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a wonderful day in this neighborhood. Where is it? You edited this. Uh, no clue. <laughs> what? Last time I, I remember seeing Mr. Rogers was so long ago. And when I was watching it, I don't even know if I fully registered uh, the theme song. Is it this neighborhood versus the neighborhood? That is correct. Yep. Nailed it. Not only do most people get one particular word of his song wrong, mm -hmm. the movie based on his life did as well. <gasps> no way! So, it's not a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 
It's... It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, uh, to me, it's always been, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a wonderful... Damn, I, I have a completely different Mandela. Whoa. The way I heard this as a kid was way different than here. It To me, it's been, oh, I... As a kid, I remember him saying, a wonderful day. I wonder how many people were actually bad about that. It's like, the movie is good, the title was wrong. Uh, next up, we're gonna be looking at another TV icon. Okay. Judge Judy. Oh, Judge Judy, queen. I yeah. used to watch her every day when I used to sip school as a kid when I pretended to be sick. Ooh, well then we might blow your mind on something yeah. here. Let's take a look. You made one payment mm -hmm. of $100 mm -hmm. and you sold the horse to her. I like that her gown is cute and has a little horse, like which means flower color. She owed $1,400. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> Good. Judgment on the clown to claim for $1,400. We're done. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may what? step out. Judge Judy continues ha. in a moment. No, where? No, this feels wrong. This feels wrong. Where is the gavel coming down and saying, where is the gavel? It's not no, there. You edited it. You edited it. No way. Judge Judy has never in her career used a gavel. You're, no, you're joking. Is it that she, like we thought she banged a gavel, but she does not bang a gavel? That is correct. Hey. There's like one step that's missing, right? She hits a little bang bang. I didn't focus on Judge Judy long enough to notice anything off. Uh, uh, I don't know. I was waiting for her to say like a catchphrase like, you just got juged. <laughs> <laughs> one thing people always misremember about Judge Judy's show is she never actually uses a gavel. She doesn't. Let's play the clip one oh, more time. Oh, wow, okay. See if you can tell me if you can hear it. We're done. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may what? step out. Oh, it's just the music. Dun, 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 dun. That's it. That's my gavel. The music is my gavel. <laughs> Look at her. She's a bad bitch. Maybe they thought the dun, 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 dun was like, so dramatic that they didn't need a gavel. They didn't have it in the budget. I feel like I've seen gifts of her using a gavel, but you know. No, you haven't. I guess I have not. No. You wanna hear it again? No, it's wrong. I'm more fascinated by the how we change w these one words that change the meaning of things. I appreciate writers so much more in this moment. They lied. They lied so much. Yeah. Why do you think we do this? I don't know. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. No, it's not. <laughs> I give up. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching us find the Mandela effects on the React channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for more shows like this. Bye, guys. Or did I say bye, girls? Hey, guys, Ethan here from the React channel. If you like this episode and want to talk more about all these Mandela effects, then be sure to follow us on Twitter at FBE. Come join the conversation, tweet out some of your favorites, or let us know of other Mandela effects that you know of. Bye, guys.